Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem and here we have m plus n equals to 3 and m n equals 9. Uh, so we solve this problem for the values of m and n. So here uh, first we call this is our equation number 1 and we call this is our equation number 2. And now in the next step here first we focus on equation number 1 so that our equation number 1 is implies that here uh, we move this m to the right hand side and it is written as n is equals to 3 minus m and we call this is our equation number 3 and now we substitute this value of n in equation number 2 so after substituting this value our equation number 2 is implies that uh, so this is m so we write it as it is and this is n we substitute this value here and it is written as 3 minus m equals to 9 and after this step uh, here we need some simplification on uh, this equation so now we multiply this m on both of these terms and it is written as 3m minus m square equals to 9 and now in the next step we move these two values to the right hand side so uh, you see that this is minus m square when we move in the right hand side it will becomes plus m square this is plus 3m when we move in the right hand side it will becomes minus 3m uh, so here we have a plus 9 is already placed in the right hand side so this whole equation is equals to 0. So further in the next step you see here uh, this equation will become uh, quadratic in m variable uh, so that uh, here we need to make the factors of this equation or in other words you can use the quadratic formula in order to solve this problem so uh, here uh, we solve this problem we solve this equation by using the quadratic formula so first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to minus 3 and c is equals to 9 so these are the coefficients of the above equation and now we write the uh, quadratic formula it is stated as m equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so this is the our quadratic formula and now we substitute the values of a b and c in this formula uh, so after uh, substituting the values of a b and c it is written as we have m is equals to minus b and the value of b is minus 3 plus minus square root of b square so b is minus 3 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 9 and it is divided by 2 times of a and our a is equals to 1. So further in the next step we have m is equals to this is minus times of minus becomes plus 3 and plus minus square root of minus 3 square and minus 3 square is equals to 9 minus 4 times of 9 becomes 36 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 is 2 okay so uh, in the next step <clears throat> we need uh, some simplification here we add or subtract these like terms and we have 3 plus minus the square root of we know that 9 minus 36 equals to minus 27 and it is divided by 2 so here we rewrite this equation as in this form 3 plus minus we write this 27 as 9 times of 3 and here we separate the square root of minus 1 and it is divided by 2 okay so here uh, finally we have the values of uh, m are 3 plus minus here we know that a square root of uh, 9 is 3 into square root of 3 and we know that minus 1 square root is equals to iota and it is divided by 2 so these are the two complex values of m and now uh, from these two correspond uh, these two uh, values of m here we need to find the corresponding values of n 
so that in order to find the value of m here uh, we need uh, to copy down the equation number three here so that equation number three is implies that n is equals to three minus m and here we have uh, the two values of m uh, so uh, first we write the positive value it is m equals to 3 plus 3 into square root of 3 iota and it is divided by 2 and uh, the second value is 3 minus 3 into square root of 3 iota and it is divided by 2. So these are the two values of m and now we substitute these two values of m in the above equation and we get the corresponding values of n. So here first we substitute this value of m here and it is written as 3 minus m and the value of m is 3 plus 3 into square root of 3 into iota and it is divided by 2 and here we need some simplification now first we take the LCM of this term so its LCM is 2 and when we multiply this 2 by 3 you will be written as you will become here 6 minus this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we multiply this negative sign on both of these terms it will becomes minus 3 minus 3 into square root of 3 iota okay so here we need more simplifications and we write it as 6 minus 3 is equals to 3 minus 3 times of square root of 3 iota and it is divided by 2. So this is the value of n corresponding to the value of m is this one okay so uh, after uh, that here we move towards our second uh, um, solution so here we substitute this value of m here and uh, we get the corresponding value of n is equals to 3 minus m and the m is this one so this is 3 minus 3 into square root of 3 iota and it is divided by 2 so after that uh, here we need to take the lcm of this term and its lcm is 2 and you get here 2 3 is 6 minus here we multiply this negative sign on both of these terms it is written as minus 3 plus 3 into square root of 3 iota and it is divided by 2 so here we need some simplification and we write it as n equals to 6 minus 3 is 3 plus 3 into square root of 3 iota and it is divided by 2. So this is the value of n corresponding to the value of m is this. Okay. So finally we have uh, two solutions of the given equation r the first solution is m n equals to 3 plus 3 into square root of 3 iota divided by 2 and 3 minus 3 into square root of 3 iota divided by 2 and the second solution is m n equals to uh, 3 minus 3 into square root of 3 iota divided by 2 and 3 plus 3 into square root of 3 iota divided by 2. So finally we have these are the two solutions of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.